This video explains how to assemble the front mesh harness, which is this component here, with a rear reservoir, shown as the 1.5, the smaller reservoir, but it works equally as well with any of the larger ones. You'll take this cam buckle, which is attached to the reservoir pouch, open up the lever like that, slide the webbing underneath and through the top like that, and you can bring it all the way up. Depending on how tall you are, you can leave it like right here, if you're rather tall, six feet or so, and then snap it closed like that. If you are of shorter or average torso length, then what you can do is go ahead and remove the silver webbing out of this slot, which is right here. Remove both of those out like that. Remove this Velcro patch right here and set it aside for future use for somebody else that's taller. And if you look in the back of the pouch here, it's got Velcro here and there's Velcro here, what you want to do is mate those up like that and that holds them together initially. Most of the strength though is derived from this buckle. You want to take the buckle as we show you, showed you before and open it up, slip the webbing underneath and then lock it in place. Okay, so once again in summary, for taller people you can leave the webbing extended like this and that will leave the reservoir hanging very low in your lumbar region for more support or you can shorten it for shorter people or average height by bringing the hydration pouch up closer so it's either touching or completely overlapping the yoke of the harness like this. So essentially it gives you a complete adjustability for different torso heights. The bottom part of the harness should be assembled like this. These straps are removable for use by themselves, these two straps actually become what's called the minimalist harness if you want, but typically these always stay attached to the mesh harness. The way they attach is through this U loop here and actually through the top of the cam buckle here and out the bottom and then just snap the cam buckle closed. This is the feature of the harness that's unique, it's called a dual adjust system. Essentially what it does is it allows us to make one harness size that will fit any torso height, any person from about 5 foot 4 to 6 foot 5. The way it works is this. The main strap, which is the one inch strap going down here, has a buckle on it, along with the smaller strap that comes off of it. What you want to do is take this, for taller people, you want to adjust this, hold the buckle like that, and adjust it down like that. For shorter people, or medium torsos, you want to pull it up to about like that. Once you adjust it where you need it, you pretty much leave this buckle where it is and then you do micro adjustments with this buckle as you are using the pack during the day. This one you just lift up like this to, to adjust it and then it will self lock when you pull it like that. Once you get the entire harness assembled as shown, the back and the front, you just put it on like a normal backpack with the shoulder harness first and then bring the waist strap around next and snap it closed. We have strap keepers, which are these little clips right here that you can retain the extra piece of webbing uh, in place if you wish. And then from here, you can take the sternum strap and snap it closed and adjust it up or down as you see fit. The final adjustment can be done here by lifting your finger like that. That'll loosen it or pull the strap to tighten it. And then that'll get the whole thing so it's tight snug against your body. If you wish to use the chest module in conjunction with the mesh harness, what you'll want to do is jettison this bottom part of the harness. On the cam buckles, undo the front straps like this and remove those, set them aside, reserve them for future use, take these straps, pass them through this loop and up through the bottom of the cam buckle like that and then snap the cam buckle closed. Any excess webbing can go through the uniloop like this and out the back of the pouch like that. When using the chest module with the mesh harness, we have it assembled, as you can see, like this. And you slip the mesh harness over your head and then bring the straps from the reservoir module around. They become your waist strap, effectively. And tighten down each side like this. These strap keepers, you can slip the extra piece of webbing in there to keep it in reserve webbing from flapping around. 
and tighten it down like this. And that way, you do not need the extra pieces of webbing like this. And this chest module, effectively, along with these straps, become the entire assembly, so you do not need the lower waist strap that was shown previously.